What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and welcome back for another episode of Free From Fab, where I review the free for a short time assets off of Fab. Every two weeks, Fab offers three different asset packs free of charge, and whether you're a budding indie game developer or a 3D artist, or just someone who wants to add to their library of assets, these are most definitely worth checking out. In this video, I'll give you a brief rundown of what's included in this Fortnite's free asset packs, as well as share a few of my own thoughts on their utility and their quality. But just before we get started, guys, if you like what we do here at Pitchfork Academy, the number one way to support the channel is by picking up our new game, Skyblocker, which is available now on Steam for just 10 bucks. It's a fun 3D arcade style puzzle game where you stack blocks as high as you can while battling the elements and gravity to try and earn your place on the global online leaderboards. But without further ado, let's take a look at these assets. Alrighty guys, now as you can see here, these assets are freely available until August 12th at 9.59 Eastern Time. In this fortnight we have the stylized windmill Valley Environment by Style Arts. The Traditional Chinese Style Park by Chen Jian. And the Lizard Man Berserker by Novo Zhilov 3D. So let's jump on in and take a look at the stylized Windmill Valley Environment by Style Arts. The technical details of this asset pack lists features such as high attention to detail, game ready and optimized, unique concepts of assets, high quality assets, and there is apparently 93 unique meshes with collision and LODs and 127 materials and material instances, 215 textures ranging from 1K up to 2K, and really guys, the images that you're seeing speak for themselves. This asset pack is an absolutely gorgeous stylized environment. Something that Style Arts seems to do a lot of. So I did recognize these guys. I've seen one of their asset packs before and they are very nice stylized environmental assets. And I was very impressed with the showcase level. It's really expansive and has this very nice vibe of a kind of village tucked away in this valley in the mountains. And everything looks great from the fields to the river and the little houses and windmills. It's really very nice indeed. So if you need something like this for your project, I 100% recommend grabbing this while it's free from fab. But I also noticed on the FAB listing that they have an additional promotion of six free environments on this platform called Cosmos, which I think might be their own asset distribution platform. And obviously I don't have the time to go through each and every single one of these free assets. But if you do and you sign up for this Cosmos platform, uh, please let me know down in the comments section what these asset packs are like. I do expect them to be quite nice, but you never know. The free assets on offer are the post-apocalyptic desert, Nova Space Burgers, Stylized Fantasy Provençal, Stylized House Interior, Carpenter's Workshop, and this coffee shop and as you can see guys not all of these asset packs are stylized some look very realistic indeed and at the time of recording this video this offer is available for another just over eight and a half days like i said i haven't had time to check out this platform but if you do and you check out these assets please let me know down in the comments section what they are like Next up, guys, we've got the traditional Chinese style park by Shen Jian. It features 205 unique meshes with vertex counts ranging from thousands up to a million. Automatically generated collision and no LODs. And guys, fair warning, this asset pack is an absolute beast. It's over 20 gigabytes and just preparing the textures to load up some of these levels took upwards of 5 to 10 minutes. 
and I actually had to find my Unreal Engine shader cache and delete everything to make some space on my drive, even photos of my dogs that I lost in the divorce, everything. <laughs> but jokes aside, this asset pack is absolutely incredible, but it is definitely not game ready. My first thoughts are that these assets would really only be useful for like an incredibly high fidelity cinematic, and you obviously could put in the work and optimize this so that they would actually run in a game. But other than that, guys, I'm not going to spend too much time on these because they do seem to be a very sort of niche interest. I couldn't even really look around in this full demo level, even with engine scalability turned down to medium, which means, you know, Lumen is off. But I did manage to get a few of these static shots for you guys to show you what it looks like. And it does look great. So if this asset pack is something that could be useful to you in your projects, grab it while it's free from Fab. Lastly, we have the Lizardman Berserker by Novozhilov 3 d The description says the character has about 46,000 triangles and about 27,000 vertices. It is rigged to the epic skeleton with a few additional bones added for the jaw and the tail, PBR textures for metal and roughness, 4K textures for the body, the armor, and the axe, and 1K textures for the eyes. And once again, guys, there really isn't that much I can say about this asset pack. It is really, really nice. The character looks great, and it does seem to be well and truly game ready. And I was pleased to see that there were bones for the jaw and the tail. There's a whole bunch of these different variations of the skin. And I particularly liked the small details on his armor, such as these scratches in the metal. And the leather looks really good. And these like kind of buckles. Great attention to detail. And this guy could make, um, you know, potentially a nice boss in some kind of maybe fantasy medieval melee combat game. So guys, if Lizardman Berserker by Novozhilov 3D is the kind of asset that could be useful to you in your projects, pick it up while it's free this fortnight on Fab. And that's going to be it from me for this one, guys. If this video has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.